Next, science and fashion. The artificial dyes used to make clothing are efficient and cheap. They're commonly seen in fast fashion, inexpensive and trendy clothes worn for a season or two. But it takes a lot of water to process these dyes, it creates a lot of waste, and it can lead to chemicals seeping into the environment. Are bacteria-colored clothes a viable alternative? What happens when you take a designer and place them in a biological scientific environment, that's when you get a new way of thinking that can catalyze innovation. Bacteria produce pigment. I became very interested with um, microbes that seep it out because that seemed like a very uh, low-tech way of actually accessing that colour. Streptomyces cedi colour is an organism that's normally found in the soil. It gives beetroot its flavour, uh, its smell of rain just before thunderstorms and produces this beautiful sky blue pigment. We quickly discovered that it could dye textiles with about 500 times less water than what ordinarily happens in industry. We're at the Department of Biochemical Engineering at University College London. So researchers here are looking at how synthetic biology, the design of living systems, can offer us nature-driven ways of doing the sorts of things that chemicals normally do. Streptomyces cedar colour produces colour within seven days. It can ferment in a, a liquid broth of nutrients and that's when those cells start to divide. After a certain point, if something is triggered, it starts to produce that pigment. You can grow the organism directly onto the textile and if you start to direct where those organisms are, you can start to design patterns and uh, prints to start to design with biology in quite a compelling way. We can create a range of different colours by tweaking the pH. Low pH results in more blue colours uh, towards the, the purple spectrum and uh, something that's a slightly higher pH is going to deliver bright, vibrant pinks and um, even reds. I think what's so fascinating about textiles is that they have always been artefacts that are sort of beyond this material that might look nice. They tell us about where we are with our technology. If we look at what knitting was in the 1900s compared to what you can do now with 3D forms, massive leaps have happened. There are new spaces opening up for designers um, to invite this interdisciplinary sharing of ideas. I think that's where creativity has an amazing space to expand.